Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to use Minecraft Coder Pack with Eclipse. Um, so to begin with, you want to install Minecraft Coder Pack correctly so that uh, when you click testgame.bat, Minecraft will come up. Uh, one, you can get out of it straight away though. Um, you want to go into Eclipse once this is done and create a new Java project. So you can just right click on the pro package explorer and click Java project. You want to give your project a name, so that will be example. Um, I usually use Minecraft underscore version number for my uh, Java projects, but it's really up to you. Once you've chosen a name, click finish, and that's your project created. Next you want to put some source in there. So you've got to right click your Java project, go to build path, link source. Um, then you want to click browse, and navigate to where your Minecraft code pack is installed. Then go to sources, and click Minecraft. Click OK, then finish. You'll see that all your source is now linked. There's all the Minecraft Coder Pack classes. You'll also notice that there's quite a few errors, uh, 1214 to be exact. So to get rid of these, um, right click your Java project again, build path and configure build path. Um, and you want to link external jars and you want to navigate to your Minecraft Coder Pack again. Go to jars, bin, and then select the jars. The reason these errors come up is because they're referencing uh, classes and methods and such that are contained within these four classes. Um, so you, would ne you need to let Eclipse know about them so that um, it can compile correctly. Once you've linked those four, you want to expand lwjgl.jar, click native local location, click edit, and then navigate to your Minecraft Coder Pack folder once again. Once there, go to Jars, Bin, Natives. Click OK, OK, and now you're done. Click OK. So now your Minecraft Coder Pack uh, classes will compile in uh, Eclipse, no problem. But the next step is to get them to run in Eclipse. So to do that, we right we click the little arrow, click Run Configurations. Java application, we want to make a new Java application. Um, select the project, so it's example today, um, and then select search and hit this class. So net Minecraft client and dot Minecraft. That's the main Minecraft client, it runs basically everything in Minecraft. Click apply and you can click run if you want it to start or just close. Um, I'll just run it to show you that it works. So now Minecraft will open up successfully. You'll notice that there's quite a few saves here. These are actually in my Minecraft Code Effect folder. These are in my uh, uh, default Minecraft folder. So if you want to use a different world folder, that you're worried about your craft world or something, you can do that as well. So to do that, um, you want to open up where your Minecraft Code Effect is installed. Go to Patches and select the two .java files. Um, Start.java and there'll be another name, it'll change release to release, but select them both. Um, go to Sources, Minecraft, and then paste them. These two classes you now want to put, you want to link into Eclipse, and it'll do it automatically because you've linked your source. So you just have to click Refresh. And now you'll see a default package, and there they are. So to use a different world folder now, you want to create a new run configuration or edit the existing one um, and select the project again, example, and the main class you select start instead of Minecraft, click OK, apply and then you can run it if you want. I'll just show you how it works. Run and edit a new world folder. OK, we'll get out of that and yeah, alright. Cool, that's basically it. Um, I'll show you one or two more things. Um, you may notice when you run Minecraft in Eclipse that you run out of memory really, really quickly. Um, that's because of the Eclipse default configuration. So you want to go to where Eclipse is installed. Um, for me, it's C Drive Program Files Eclipse. You want to find Eclipse.ini and you want to edit it in a text editor. I'll use Edit Plus. Um, in Edit Plus, you want to find the two lines that are these two lines basically, and that number you want to change to a big number. 
um, that's how many megabytes it assigns to the Java heap space, which is what runs out of memory all the time. So I've set mine at 11.24 megabytes. Um, that's as high as I can go on this machine uh, due to various reasons. Um, Minecraft Coder Pack has a default of 10.24, but in Eclipse, Eclipse actually uses some of that memory, so you n need more like 13, 1400. Um, although I can't do that. So put as much memory is in there as you can spare. Um, the more the better, basically. Once you're done, click Save, um, close it, and go back into Eclipse. Close Eclipse and open it again, and then your memory settings will have saved. Um, I'm going to quickly show you a quick demo of how this works. So I'll go into a class. Let's go to the player class and we'll make the player jump twice as high. So it's entity player. We'll find the method jump. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one. It doesn't seem like there's one. Alright, so uh, let's do something else instead. Uh, we can do what's something cool we can do? We can do we can do, we can do, we can do uh, all right. Well, when the play is created, we can just print out a message. For example, we go system dot out dot print line, um, and go hello world. All right. And if I could just click run, uh, go into a world. I have to create one. That'll do. And down here, we should notice hello world come up when the player is initialized. And there we go. Hello world. Shows that it was compiled successfully and run. Oh, one last thing before I forget. Um, when you compile an Eclipse, it's not the same as Minecraft Coder Pack. So in Minecraft Coder Pack, if you want to obf obfuscate um, your mod to release to public, you'll actually have to hit recompile, then re-obfuscate. You can't just click this straight away. Same with test game. You've got to hit recompile first. Um, before that will happen. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, rate, whatever. Thanks.